Almost any smartphone can be turned into a pocket-sized 3D scanner with the help of a 3D scanning app. You snap multiple photos of an object from various perspectives, then use software to stitch the photographs together. You may use this technology to transform your smartphone into a 3D scanner. In this video, we cover 3D scanning apps that you can download and get started right away. Before we begin, hit the like and subscribe buttons to be notified about similar videos in the future. Your next iPhone isn't just a phone. It's a new kind of power tool. With Canvas, you can use the iPhone 12 Pro to take thousands of measurements per second and digitize homes in minutes. Just download the Canvas app, stand close to the center of a room, and slowly spin, like you're painting the walls with your phone. You can get a colorized 3D model in minutes and measure anything. Upload and share your 3D model with anyone. And you can even use your 3D scans to generate editable professional grade CAD formats like Chief Architect, Revit, and SketchUp. So you can plan, quote, and design. With Canvas, your next power tool fits in your pocket. Mobile devices have changed everything, but what they're about to be able to do is nothing less than extraordinary. Computer vision is at the heart of the next technological leap forward. When Occipital came out with its new structure sensor for the iPad, we saw an excellent opportunity to make scanning available to anyone with a mobile device. It sees 3D scanner uses a structure sensor to create incredibly accurate 3D models of any object, including a person's face, in seconds. The structure sensor is designed to capture tons of information about the world around us, and the ITSI's 3D scanner puts that information back together to create incredibly beautiful 3D models. Our goal was to make a 3D scanner that could create models so realistic, of such high visual quality, that you can't tell the difference between the original object and the rendered computer model. To scan a tabletop object, you just circle around it with your mobile device. Then, after your scan data is captured and synthesized in the cloud, you can visualize it on the iPad or export it as a 3D model. Under the hood, your structure sensor measures distances to hundreds of thousands of points by emitting a spectrum of infrared light. ITSI's 3D scanner takes that raw data to reconstruct a point cloud of the object. Then it creates a mesh wireframe and applies a texture layer mimicking the surface of the original object. It'll also isolate the object from the background as you circle around it. The calculations necessary to do this are quite complex for an iPad, so our software does it super quickly in the cloud. Then you simply download the rendered 3D model in a number of formats, like a PLY or an OBJ file. The ITSI's 3D scanning software has absolutely incredible texture, better than anything I've seen so far, making them almost indistinguishable from the original objects. 3D prints, even color 3D prints, come out looking amazing as well. We've already added the capacity to do face scanning, and soon you'll be able to do entire room scanning. Now that it sees 3D scanner has turned 3D scanning from something out of science fiction into reality, the possibilities are truly endless. I'm really excited for people to get their hands on this app. This is going to be the first time that you can create incredibly gorgeous 3D models with a mobile device. Download ITSY's 3D scanner on the App Store today.
We often come across unique things that we would love to keep or take home, but sometimes it's not possible. This is where the freeform scan can be used to preserve memories of those objects which you can keep, share, or even replicate later. The basics are the same as the other scanning methods in 3D Creator, but in freeform scan, you don't have to follow any predefined path or movements. Begin the process by framing the object within the circle on the screen and press Start, then slowly circle the object. You will immediately notice several feature points or white dots become visible on the screen. Now you're free to move around the object however you like, as long as the movements are slow and steady. Make sure you keep the camera stable by holding it with both hands and continue to capture the object from all angles. In freeform scan, you're encouraged to spend more time in the calibration phase to collect as many feature points as possible. These points will define the quality of the final 3D model. After pressing next, you will notice a gray sphere around the object. The sphere can be adjusted around the object to make sure everything you intend to scan is included within it. Once you've made the adjustment, press Next. In the sculpting step, focus on the object from all angles to capture even more details of the areas that may have been missed during calibration. For example, the edges. Make sure to maintain the green mesh in the viewfinder and further scan the gray areas. Try not to sculpt for too long as it may affect the quality of the textures. Press Done when you're ready to render the 3D model. After the scanning is done, the texture is created and automatically applied on the object. Here you will be able to preview the model and rotate it to view from all angles and save it to the gallery for later use. Welcome to Turnio. Today, I will be explaining the process of capturing a realistic, high-quality 3D scan straight from your phone. Here and on the Turnio website, linked in the description, you can find the best tips and tricks for creating professional-grade scans anywhere, anytime. Turnio has three methods of image capture and scanning that can be used to create your 3D scan. Object Mode, AR Kit, and Photo Import. Today, I will be focusing on those last two methods, which are the most likely to produce the high-quality scan you are looking for. ARKit is developed by Apple and is compatible with the iPhone 6S and newer. This technology pinpoints features on the object you are 3D scanning as you move around and record the object. It records these individual points and assembles them into your 3D scan. Image Capture takes a slightly different approach by compiling photos that you take with your phone and assembling them into your 3D scan. Both of these methods have similar strategies in choosing what you want to scan and where you want to scan it in order to create the best 3D image possible. Make sure to fill the entire frame with the object you are trying to scan. If you would like to scan a person's face, make sure they will be able to stand completely still for at least 30 seconds to a minute. If you are scanning someone with smooth skin or dark hair, try and add something of color or texture, such as colorful makeup or a hat. For any scan, using the back camera on your phone is much better than using the front camera, so if you would like a scan of your own face, ask a friend for help. You are also going to want to plan a path around whatever object you are scanning before you actually start the scan. Generally, you want to start from a wider angle and come in closer as you circle the object two or three times. For the image import mode, try and take a photo every 5 degrees or so as you are circling. You want to move slowly and try to avoid any narrow passages like doorways. Another great tip is that you always want to try and capture every surface from at least two angles or perspectives. Another key variable for getting the perfect scan is lighting. Always try to scan in natural light over artificial light if possible. You want to make sure that there are as little shadows as possible, and you definitely want to try and avoid any reflective surfaces. 
For this reason, I find that it is best to do your scan outside on a cloudy day. If it's a sunny day, maybe try to scan the object outside in that 20 to 30 minutes right after the sun sets before it gets completely dark. As you can see, this scan has lots of harsh shadows and doesn't turn out too well. You also want to avoid very small or skinny objects, like a pencil or a plant with long branches. Also, objects that are too large to walk around or get a bird's eye view of, like a building. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the Turnio website and other tutorials coming soon.